Good morning, Mr. and Mrs. Upson. It's Nico from Cliff Jones RV over here in Sealy. So I know you're looking at the Keystone Outback, but I'm very excited to make this video for you on the 2019 Winnebago 30 RLSS. Uh, Keystone makes a great product as we do carry the Laredos, but for what we have in stock at the moment, I think this Winnebago 30 RLSS is gonna have a lot of the same parallels that the uh, Outback 330 RL will have. Uh, but also with all of the uh, experience and the reputation that Winnebago has to bring to the table. So starting out up front, I know Mr. Upson that auto level was important to you. Now the nice thing about this Winnebago is that it has a touchscreen system uh, for their leveling. So it's very straightforward, very easy. Uh, if we can earn your business on this RV, our technicians will spend a good hour and show you how all this works. Um, I actually have it leveled out right now because I was showing this RV the other day and they wanted to see how it worked and it only took about five minutes and it totally leveled itself out so if you can see uh, the jacks are all the way down there on the front and the back. So no worries there on auto level. Uh, also this RV has extra large propane tanks so you're not going to have to refill as often versus the smaller ones that are out there. Of course this RV is all aluminum construction. Uh, heated and enclosed underbelly and fiberglass with upgraded TPO roof. The great thing about the cap on this RV is that it does have LED lights in the front and in the middle to help you hook and unhook in all lighting conditions. One thing that's really nifty about this Winnebago is the storage. These have a huge, huge storage. Um, and then also it's really neat because what you can do is move this door out of the way if you want to store a taller object. And then this door right here goes straight into the bedroom, uh, the main bedroom. So you have easy access to the passenger storage and everything else. And great thing about this RV, it also uses magnets, not clips. So you don't have to worry about those breaking over time like you do with the magnets. It makes life a whole lot easier. And also it does have a large electric awning over here with white LED lights to help illuminate uh, your campsite in all lighting conditions. It also has marine grade speakers outside that work with the radio inside. So you can uh, listen to music inside or outside or both and it does have connections here for a TV if you would like to hook one up out here and enjoy some television and the great outdoors. The great thing about the door on this RV is that it is a friction hinge so it doesn't have the latch like some older style RVs have where you have a plastic piece here <clears throat> and a plastic piece here. So it just easily opens itself if it's windy. You don't have to worry about the pneumatic uh, storm door type deal uh, like other RVs have. And also you do have a screen door here, so if you want to get good cross ventilation going on a cool day like today without burning electricity, uh, you can have the vent open in the bathroom, have the windows open, and also have this screen door open and you'll get a really good breeze going through. This RV also has an extra large door handle. It's not a tiny little plastic handle like some have, so it's easy for people of all ages to get in and out. Also it has aluminum steps, so you don't have to worry about them uh, rusting. And they are very lightweight, so they're easy to move in and out. Uh, this RV has three slides, has two opposing ones in the rear, so it really opens it up. And also has a slide in the bedroom. Uh, here are the spare tires can be located on the back. This RV is also prepped for a backup camera, so if you want to add one, uh, backup cameras can save lives. And also it does have a ladder, so if you need to inspect your roof as you should, you don't have to grab a separate ladder, it's already built in, easy to get to. And over here, this is the exhaust for the range hood, it actually works. Uh, in the kitchen whenever we get inside I'll be happy to show you and also you have the access doors for your refrigerator whenever you need maintenance uh, this is the exhaust for the furnace right here propane furnace this is the gas and electric rapid heat six gallon water heater of course this RV is 50 amp service because it has two ACs uh, so this is where you plug in and this is the uh, fresh water tank if you want to go dry camping you can take potable water with you no matter where you go and this is the uh, city water connection right here. This is the third slide that's in the bedroom. Really great thing about the Winnebago is it's very convenient. All your uh, ins and outs are right here, kind of like you find on a fifth wheel. So it's better protected from the elements. You have cable satellite hookup, power connections right here, battery disconnect. So if you store your RV for a long period of time, you can disconnect the battery right here versus uh, needing tools to disconnect the terminals. Here you have the switch from uh, your water connections. This is the black tank flush right here and all your connections. It comes in through the bottom right here. That way everything's better protected. Alright, now we'll go inside.
Okay. So I'll give you a 360 view here. So as I said before, this one really is one of my personal favorites. You have the two slides in the back that really opens it up. You have the dinette, um, freestanding dinette. The whole family can sit here and enjoy a meal, play a card game, whatever you'd like to do. And it has two very comfortable recliners that give you an optimum viewing angle of the TV uh, being right here. You have two cup holders and also a little storage in the middle. The really great thing about this RV is that because it's so wide, you actually have a three cushion couch, not a two cushion. So if you ever have anybody stay with you, uh, you could really easily uh, sleep two adults. They'd be very comfortable on that large bed. Uh, there's a ton of windows here. The nice thing about the Winnebago's, they have the accordion style uh, blind system versus the old style. So it's really easy to open and close. You can enjoy the scenery around you with all these windows. It also has a lot of overhead storage here as well. Here we have the large TV that comes with this RV, as well as the all-in-one radio, AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, um, USB, and everything else that you need right here. Um, also has a fireplace that's all electric, so that way you don't have to burn propane. Uh, you can use the park's electricity versus your own uh, natural gas, so you can have just the light show or the heat and the light show whichever you prefer on a colder day like today this definitely comes in handy uh, as you'll notice the cabinetry on the Winnebago's is lighter so it definitely opens up the inside makes it feel bigger and also this is real wood cabinetry uh, if you were to redo a house with these cabinetries it would be very expensive uh, this is a mortise and tenson type construction so it fits together like a puzzle piece and um, they definitely don't skimp on any of the quality on the Winnebago's also you do have solid surface uh, countertops here so it's no plastic or composite materials. Uh, whenever you guys come to look at this RV, I mean, you can just tell from the inserts that are on the countertop just how thick this is and heavy. Um, so that just goes to show you the quality. And also it does have a residential uh, power microwave. It's 1,000 watts. So whenever you heat up food, it's not going to take very long. I uh, do have a ton of storage here. Huge, just huge drawers. Very beautiful cabinetry. Uh, overhead storage here and this is the range that I was talking about outside that actually works so whenever you're cooking food uh, you can vent all the fumes outside versus having your coach smell like food all day long the stove and oven does have a insert here to give you extra counter space um, the good thing about the stove on this one it does have igniters uh, it's a three burner cooktop not a four burner like the old style so you don't need any special teapots and pans the rear two are for simmering the front ones for boiling and here you have the oven pretty good size uh, eight cubic foot gas and electric refrigerator that way as long as you have propane or power you can keep your food cold and over here you have a uh, little bar area so you have a ton of overhead storage more beautiful cabinetry I really like the uh, glass insert on these it looks really nice you might not be able to tell exactly because uh, of the glare there but it is very pretty also you have a nice uh, backsplash here, extra counter space for a coffee maker or whatever you need, large storage there. And here on the island you have a um, really nice stainless steel dual bowl undermount sink. So the good thing about the uh, undermount is that whenever you need to uh, clean your countertop, it makes it nice and easy to clean it off instead of having that lip. Uh, also the stainless steel is not going to uh, stain with coffee or soda and it's more sanitary uh, because it's non-porous so it's not like the uh, cheaper plastic ones that are out there on some other ones and also you have a residential style faucet so this makes it easier to wash dishes and vegetables things like that uh, you have power connections over here for a coffee maker blender whatever you need or just to charge your cell phone tons of storage inside on the island as well with all these drawers there you go and really great thing about the Winnebago's uh, on this model is that it does have a radius ceiling so it feels taller in here it's not flat it is curved and also um, this RV is dual AC so no problem keeping this one cool uh, this does have a quick dump feature so if you have it closed it will circulate throughout the ducts if you have it open it will quick dump all the air right here 
this is the main control board. So here you have your slide controls, three slides right there. Um, awning control, lights, more lights, water heater, and water pump controls. This is the thermostat for the main unit. And also you can add a TV over here as well. And more power connections down here. Coming up to the main bedroom. This one's really nice because the bed is on a slide. And it is a true queen bed, a 60 by 80. So if you want to swap the mattress, anyone will fit. And also the bedding will fit. You have two reading lights over the bed. Um, so you can control the light. That way if somebody's sleeping, you can still stay up and read if you would like. And also this is the uh, second AC, 13,500 BTUs. It also has doors to control the flow of the air. So uh, you can point the air wherever you would like. You also do have a duct here from the main AC. So if they both feed each other, it'll keep it nice and cool. Uh, this one does have a huge closet as well, so for a long-term stay, uh, definitely no problem at all for storing clothes. And then as I showed you outside, this is that uh, storage compartment that you can get through, get to from the pass-through that door's open right now. And also power connections down there too if you want to charge your phone or whatever else you need. Uh, it does also have a dresser with tons of storage, so long-term stay on this one definitely is no problem at all. Uh, you do have an, a second door to the bathroom right here. Uh, the bathrooms are really great size and one thing I really like about the Winnebago's you know having stainless steel in the kitchen is to me pretty much a must but they also have it in the bathroom as well so it's just that much more sanitary and really nice thing you know same thing like the solid surface countertops they actually use porcelain toilets if you can hear that so just to show you their build quality and also it does have a large shower as well plenty of room in here And let me just get in here and show you. Um, as you guys know, you met me about six feet tall. So with this one, you still have plenty of headroom uh, with the skylight there. And it does have a uh, also residential style uh, handle as well. And has a medicine cabinet for whatever else you need. And two power connections. Also, this one does have a uh, fantastic vent right here. So if you want to, uh, during the summer, have this open and have a window open, it'll keep it 15 to 20 degrees cooler in here. That way, whenever you reach your destination, your ACs don't have to work as hard. Um, and it's just more comfortable versus not having it. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Upson, this is Nico from Cliff Jones RV in Sealy. I want to make this video for you. I think you'll really like this Winnebago uh, 30 RLSS. If you have any questions, please give me a call, 979-253-2611. Thank you so much for watching.